Hey guys, how's it going? This Helpful Lock Picker here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over what are pinning tweezers, how they are helpful, and how they can help level up your ability to take a lock apart and put it back together. Pinning tweezers are such a great tool, and what I'm going to do is give you a really good close up on how these work and why you should consider getting a pair. More information is coming up on this great tool in just a second. Please stay tuned. <laughs> The first observation I want you to make when you're looking at a pair of pinning tweezers is going to be how it's rounded right here. This is going to be shaped precisely so that it's going to be able to grasp a pin very easily. So when we take a pair of normal tweezers just to compare, you're going to see how they are not going to be rounded and it's not going to be able to grab that pin as easily. So what I'm going to do is give you a quick close-up of that right now. So the major benefit of using a really great pair of pinning tweezers is having the rounded end. Look at how well it's able to grasp this key pin. You can see that it has a really great grasp around it and this key pin's not going anywhere. When you use a pair of regular tweezers, it's going to make it much more likely that you're not going to get a good grasp on it and you're going to drop it into the abyss and lose it forever. So what I have right here is the regular pair of tweezers. You can see it doesn't have as good of a grasp and it makes it so much easier for you to be able to lose your pen. And when you start to work with locks, and especially if you're taking apart a lock that you do not know the bidding to and you do not want to drop any of the pens out of order, it's just very important that you're able to keep track of all of your key pens and not drop them. Having a proper pair of pinning tweezers is a really great tool. As you can tell, this pen is starting to go diagonal and even start to lose its place in its grasp and it's at risk of falling out. One other advantage of using pinning tweezers is when you go to put the pin in the lock, you're going to have a lot of fine control. Just look as I go to put this pin in the plug right here. As I push against the plug, you can see that the pin is going to stay straight and I'm not going to drop it. A lot of the times when you're working on a lock, you cannot afford to lose the position of the pin. Whether you have not decoded the lock yet or it's your only pin, you just need to be very, very careful. You do not want to drop, lose, or misalign anything. So when I go to use the regular tweezers, look, it's already starting to flop around. And then when I try to put it in the chamber, if I'm not careful, I could drop it because it flops around like this, and now I'm about to drop it. So just utilizing a pair of pinning tweezers with the rounded ends is just going to give you that next level control, and it's going to make it so you can get your pens in your lock very precisely. All right, so let's test out our pinning tweezers in action. What we're going to do is we're going to have a like SC4 lock and it's going to be keyed up 818181. So as you can tell, I can grab these pins very easily without even being able to see where I'm going because I have a little bit of an obstructed angle filming this. But as you can see, I can reliably grab each pen. It's staying nice and straight in between the pinning tweezers and I'm not going to drop any of the pens. You never want to lose a pen when you're working on a lock. You never want to lose exactly which position it is because that can really throw off a job or it can throw off a lock you're just working on for fun. But as you can tell that these were able to really pin up this lock quickly and quite successfully. Now, just to be complete, what we're going to do is we're going to take this really newly pinned up plug and we're going to put in the key and we're going to test out that everything is to shear. So we're going to insert the key slowly because we do not want to have any of the pens drop out. You can see that it's sitting at shear at 818181. We can quickly insert this right into the cylinder here, and then we can just test out our key quickly. So we're able to successfully now pin up our lock to 818181. The new key is working very well. And I just want to say that having a really nice pair of pinning tweezers is just something that's going to be really, really nice to have. Now, it doesn't really matter the brand that you get when you go to look at pinning tweezers. The really important thing is going to be that you're going to have those rounded ends that are going to hold pens very easily. I just want to say that this is a really great tool. It certainly made my life a lot easier once I discovered them. I just wanted to share this with everyone because not everyone knows about them. But either way, if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave those right in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for checking out this video, and I hope you all have a great day, and I cannot wait to see you in the next video.